Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome, Pat. We're going home with the president now, the female president, that is, from the show Babylon 5. Polish-born Beata Pozniak is a hard-working American actress who's now popped up on Melrose Place and mad about you. These days, though, when she's not reading scripts, she's digging into her other passion, her art. On Babylon 5, she's the no-nonsense president of the world. Don't make the mistake of assuming that this is a conversation. It isn't. But when she's at home, surrounded by her artwork, Polish-born Beata Pozniak sheds her presidential role and literally lets her hair down. So don't worry about mispronouncing her name. Well, in Poland, we pronounce it Pozniak. In America, it's Beata Pozniak. <laughs> Her home-turned-art gallery was once owned by legendary screen star Errol Flynn. I was very lucky. I was walking on the street, and I started talking to this lady, and she was gardening, and I said, wow, you've got a beautiful house, what a great neighborhood, and I started just talking to her. So she invited me to her house, and I saw all these wonderful photographs of Errol Flynn and her, and it was Mrs. Errol Flynn. One thing is clear from a tour of her house, Pozniak has a passion for art. Well, it was living behind the Iron Curtain. It was, we were all scared. We did not have the freedom of expressing. And when I moved here to the United States, I discovered so many things and so many things one can do, the opportunities, the possibilities. So I started to create. And thanks to being here, something just opened up in me. I was not quite sure what it was, but I wanted to do something with my hands. So I just bought a block of clay. Whether she is sculpting or painting, Pozniak sees her creations as just another part of her acting skills. Just like with acting, creating um, was always about exploring the human potential. I love creating, and I think the joy of creating gives me so much pleasure. That's how I started sculpting. I was reading Joseph Campbell, and he said something that I live by today, even. He would say, follow your bliss. And that was it for me. That was it. Her scrapbook chronicles her rise from cover girl status in Poland to her American film debut in Oliver Stone's JFK. The art-minded Pozniak tried her best to look like the real-life wife of accused assassin Lee Harvey Oswald. It was an interesting process because I ended up living with the real Marina Oswald while doing research, while being in Dallas. Here's the real Marina Oswald, and there's Pozniak. Judging from her photos, she's already had a lifetime of experiences. That's her with pop star Natalie Merchant, but it's that role as president of the world on Babylon 5 that fascinates her the most, simply because she's breaking a mold. Even as a child, I would, I would love um, like all these male-driven characters, and I always wanted to play men because of what they had to say and what they had to do. So in my mind, I always imagined what they were doing, but only that they had a brown dress. <laughs> wow, Beata told us the producers of Babylon 5 were originally looking for an older actress to play the role of the president of the world, somebody who would remind viewers of former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Needless to say, the show's fans are happy President Posnia cut the job.